I love this. Now I can go fucking live on Facebook through Zoom. Fantastic. I'm catching up to the 21st century. <laughs> hey, it looks like we're live. Looks like we're live. I love Fantastic. This. I'm catching up to the 21st century. What's uh? <laughs> hey, it looks like we're live. Looks like we're live. I love Fantastic. I'm catching up to the 21st century. Oh, I know what's going on. There we go. Can you hear me now? Yep, I still hear you. Yeah, you know, it's funny. I was just playing it on my computer. I'm like, why do I hear myself twice? I had myself open off Facebook. All right, guys. So for everybody that's here today, thank you so much for coming. I'm really excited about this interview. I've got my man, Andrew, on this mofo, Andrew Perdum. Andrew, can you uh, give us a quick little intro about who you are, where you're from, and uh, what we're going to be talking about today? Hey, guys. Great to meet you. As Carlos said, my name is Andrew Purdom, and I got my start about, oh, what was it, 2012, 2013, when I was still a senior in high school. My journey is long and varied. I started out writing comic books and novels. I got a group of friends together, and I said, guys, I have this great idea. You know, Marvel's really big right now. DC's really big right now. We all love superheroes. Let's go out there and make our own sci-fi universe. And so we would go to Comic-Cons, Dallas Comic-Con, uh, there are some in Richardson, Texas, where I grew up, and we would sell these books that we wrote, and like we would end up selling a couple hundred a day, then eventually more and more as we went on, and other authors kind of took notice, and they're like, whoa, what is going on here? This guy knows how to sell, and uh, that was actually me getting up and selling in front of people. That was my very first exposure to sales. That turned into doing marketing for other author other authors and writing their promos and writing their sales letters and their ads and doing email marketing for them. And then other kinds of businesses. And about 2014, 2015, I started branching out to larger businesses. I had an opportunity to work with a very big company here locally. I now live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And there's a company called 10,000 Villages. And they said, hey, we've been seeing what you're doing and we would love if you could come work with us. And so for about a period of four months, I overhauled a lot of their digital marketing strategy, wrote their emails, wrote their ads, had a lot of really good exposure and experience with them. And that's when I decided, you know what? I want to work more on the back end of marketing. I want to start writing more emails, work more on sales letters. And I started getting into video sales letters about that time. And it was about 2018 that my business really started taking off. I solidified a lot of my skills. I dialed in front ads really well. And the clients that I worked for got some incredible results. And ever since then, I focused really hard on three main areas. Number one, paid ads, direct response ads, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, uh, email marketing. So I'm going to explain more of my process in a minute. But what I do is I focus on people who have existing lists and I find the places where they can make more money from the existing people they already have a conversation with. And then I write sales letters and video sales letters as the big central pillar piece to take those people on the email list and get them to buy whatever it is that we're selling. So just in the last year alone, I work with people like Carlos Corona. Carlos is a paper call marketer, an incredible marketer that just generates and sells calls from places like Google ads or Craigslist. Wow. And he is a fantastic marketer, but he doesn't do the back end marketing. He just generates the call and says, that's it. So I worked with him and I said, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write you some email series and using emails alone, I've got the testimonial up here in the month of June, 2020, we sold 53 courses and he was so happy. He sent me a bonus of $1,500, which was very kind of him. Now that's, that's with no paid ads. That's just email marketing using some of the frameworks that I'm going to share with you in just a minute. At the exact same time, I had a business with a partner of mine in the SEO space and he had a small list of about 2,000 people when we started. I rewrote his webinars, his video sales letters, his ads, and his email marketing. And the email marketing is what drove the conversions. But in the first like four, four and a half months, we sold over $100,000 of that primary offer. So, it, you know, it's crazy. A lot of people sleep on email marketing, I feel like. We're so worried about these front-end conversions and getting as much traffic as we can get and modifying the, the, the conversion on the front page. But a lot of the back-end money is made through email marketing. And once you're able to put something in place that actually works, it's kind of just like a, a money-making machine that works on autopilot for you. 
So the fact that you've been able to tap into uh, email market or email lists and start marketing to them in a way that actually generates a response, I think that's really cool, especially in an age where I think less and less people are actually doing email marketing, which is silly because they should be doing more and more email marketing right now, especially as people are doing less. But what I'd like to kind of dive into a little bit is first off, you've got some really crazy results. You've got some good results. You just yeah. shared some of them right now with us. You've got amazing testimonials. What are some of the, the, the frameworks, if you could share that with us, that, that have worked with, or with your clients when writing emails? Yeah, great question. There's three primary frameworks. Now, how I kind of function is I get the base idea and then I evolve from there. Nothing I'm telling you is new or original to me. I learned it from other people who I paid a lot of money to understand it and I made it my own. That's the first thing to know. And like, if you want to know who specifically I learned from, just ask me, we can have that conversation, but there's three frameworks. Number one, I've got them written down here because I have a horrible uh, recall ability. <laughs> I, I just, I'm not good with that. Just to be completely upfront with you. Well, it's, it's almost like cool part. You, you don't even have to be, you don't even have to memorize it to put them into action. Yeah, it's exactly right. Well, it, it's like muscle memory once you get rolling with it. But the three frameworks are, I learned this from Tanner Henkel and Jared Harlan. Uh, it's the PWAP formula. So this is a very simple make money now kind of email. It's the first framework and it stands for problem. Figure out what the problem is, mm. why it's a problem, and then explain the unique mechanism. And I can show you some emails I wrote using this framework in just a moment, but problem, why it's a problem slash unique mechanism. You're going to agitate their pain and then you're going to tease a solution and send them to that sales letter or that video sales letter, which is exactly why that central pillar copy is so important. So that's framework number one, PWAT. Number two is what we call the hero or the Pixar formula. And this is your more standard story approach. So it could be a client that you worked with or yourself if you've accomplished your big goal. But how sales on a fundamental level works is you have somebody in a current situation where they have a lot of pain. They've got a huge problem that they're facing. They've got a desire situation that they want more than anything. If they could just achieve that, they'd be a lot happier they would have a lot less of a specific problem and life is great and rosy. And then the goal is to using a story, create a gap between those where they feel the pain. They're like, oh man, this issue really sucks. And I really want to get to where I want to be. And this guy is proving to me that it's not only possible, but using him and his unique mechanism or his unique solution, I'm able to get there quicker, easier, or faster. And I'm going to, again, share that with you in just a moment, a tangible email I wrote uh, for Carlos Corona that did just that. And then the last one, this is my favorite because I think this has made me more money than the first two combined and I've used it the longest. It's called the 4A framework. The basic premise behind this framework is we filter decisions through four primary frames. Uh, actionable, what are the steps that I need to do to accomplish this thing? Analytical, what's the data behind this? aspirational. Uh, does this actually point me to my dreams, to my hopes? Does this allay my fears? Does this help me go where I want to go in life? And then anthropological, I need to understand the human behavior behind this, or I need to understand this phenomenon of what it is. And what I've kind of found is that I integrate at least one of the four A's, again, actionable, analytical, aspirational, or anthropological into one of the other two frameworks. And then the results are just explosive when that happens because you're speaking to how people buy and you're helping them understand not only themselves, but the problem that they're facing. You're helping them understand your unique mechanism. And as a result, everything just kind of clicks for them. And when you can get that click for them, they're more likely to actually buy from you versus somebody else. Wow. You know, what, the, what I really like about the way you teach this stuff is that you almost break it down academically. Like it makes so much more sense when you break this down into little formulas and, and structures that people can follow, because you don't have to be a copywriting expert if you can follow these formulas. But obviously, the more of an expert you are, the better you can you can produce uh, in regards to results. So what I'd love to do here is, is kind of dive into some of your samples, if you could. Sure. I'd love to see some of this stuff in action. Are you able to share your screen on your side? I can. So screen up here. Do you see, uh, what do you see on the screen right now? All right. See, it's a uh, testimonial. Well, right now I, I just see your Zoom, but you're sharing screen, but it's like a Zoom screen. Here we go. Okay. Yep. So. Mouse. There we go. I'm nice. going to start 
with a very simple PWAP because it's probably the easiest. I love it. Oh, look at this, guys. He's got the results right there too. Yeah, so I can show you results of a lot of these emails. This is actually from the business that I co-owned with my SEO partner, Sarah Vannon. I'm going to cover that in just a moment. I'm looking for a very specific one. You know what? We're going to do this the simple way because I think I closed on accident. No problem. And also for anybody that's watching this, if you have an offer that you want uh, an email written for, just make sure you let us know. And during this training, we'll see if we can get Andrew to actually write an email for you guys right here on the spot. If if no one submits anything, I'm probably going to submit something for one of my businesses. So Go right we're, ahead. we're definitely going to be getting some copy written. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Here's a PWOT email. I even broke it down when I wrote this back in March. So this is March, 2021. This client, uh, he's a physical therapist and he transitioned his physical practice to an online business and he teaches people how to get rid of sciatica or at least get relief from sciatica, which is a severe nerve problem in the leg. That's oversimplifying it. So PWAT is starts with calling out the problem. Hey, Dean Volk here. I've helped thousands of people like yourself find true lasting relief from sciatica and I've got great news for you. The pain that you're feeling all the sleepless nights, all the thoughts that I need to sit in an uncomfortable position to just avoid the pain, that's optional. Most people live with sciatica each and every day. They do the best they can to live a normal life, but all it takes is one wrong move and your entire body is paralyzed in pain. Most doctors, surgeons, or even physical therapists don't know why this happens. And most won't believe you if you told them what's happening. But the root problem is simple. Your body's unbalanced and your muscles are pressing against your nerve, sending those sharp shooting pains down your leg. So we've explained the problem, explaining why it's a problem. Most doctors are happy to cut you open, but that can just cause more problems. Just ask Johnny A. And then I actually post the testimonial here, so it's a proof element, very big on proof. You figure out what you need them to believe, and then you show them testimonials, case studies, stories, whatever to get them to believe that. So I'm proving my, what I'm talking about here with an actual story. But as Johnny would tell you, it just doesn't work. He's had four surgeries and two hip surgeries. And the fifth wasn't guaranteed to solve the problem. But my simple exercises, which anybody can do from home, showing them why it's easy, why it's simple, gave him fast acting relief in mere weeks. I love to see stories of people like Johnny who eliminate their pain and get back to their life. That's why I created unique sciatica eliminating exercises that are so simple. Anybody can do them all without pain, introducing some of the unique mechanisms. Imagine never having to help, having a yelp in pain every time you get out of bed or worrying about when it'll hit. It's always at the worst time. I can equip you with the right tools to transform your life over the course of the next several weeks. Imagine your friend seeing the bright, hopeful smile on your face as you tell them, I kick sciatica out of my body for good, agitating their pain. And then we tease them. I wrote you a short letter explaining how the process works and what you can expect. Click here to read it now. Send them to the sales page. Talk soon, Dean Volk. And then the sales page's job is to do the actual bulk of the selling to get them to book a call with him because it's a high ticket offer. Got it. This is sick. See how it works, call it the problem, explain yeah. why it's a problem, explain the unique mechanism behind how you're gonna solve that, agitate their pain and tease it. I love and so that. You'll, you'll already start to see some of my other frameworks coming in. So I took elements from the hero framework. I took some elements from the 4A. I showed them the aspirational behind it. I showed them why their problem wasn't getting solved. So that's a little bit of the anthropological frame. And all of these emails, there's five emails here. We don't have time to go through everything I wish we did, but they all do that in a slightly different way from a slightly different angle. Wow. 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 Do you have, you know, I like how you insert the proof in there too, because I mean, you can yep. say a lot of these things, but without having the proof in there, it, it just becomes a little bit less believable. But the way you structured it, it's kind of like a natural path of persuasion. You're relating with them with this problem. You're introducing the the, the mechanism, you're doing all this stuff that makes it, it, it like hits on the emotional parts, but it also makes it a logical solution for them because they don't have to, it's not all hype, you know? It's exactly right. I'm going to share a little secret that's made this a lot easier for me. And this comes from both Todd Brown and from Justin Goff. 
they talk about the concept of the big idea, which is nothing new, but the way that they explain this kind of really helped it click for me. So they say that the big idea is a combination of having a really compelling, interesting story, explaining the unique mechanism and pointing to them, pointing them to one primary promise. Again, interesting story, unique mechanism, one big primary promise. And if you can do that, your entire promotion will be much more clear, will be much more effective, and you'll just get naturally higher results. Got it. So we've got a, a question here from Kevin. I'm not sure if I yeah. fully understand it, but maybe you'll understand it. Uh, what's a good way to suggest the call to action or tease? Okay. Uh, I think the best way to explain that is to show you. So yeah. assuming you're using the PWAP formula like I've done here, what you do is you agitate their pain and then you can quickly say, well, there's hope. It doesn't have to be that way anymore. I've already shown you the unique mechanism and you can click here to learn more about that. And so if you're sending them to a video sales letter, you can say, the good news is, is I put all of this in a easy to watch video where I break down in simple steps, how you can solve this and kick it out of your life for good and then get that desired situation that you want. Hell yeah, got it, got it, got so, it. Guys, as you're watching this too, if you see Andrew, um, it, you know, I've tagged him in here. Make sure you add him as a connection before something else pops up. You want to make sure he's in your network. Um, so do you think we could go over maybe one more email? It doesn't have to be the same form. Yeah. It can be, but I, I just like kind of seeing these examples. This makes it a lot easier for people to understand. Sure. Um, trying to think of what would be best if I'm only doing one more, cause I've got a lot here. I could go. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is one of my clients I still work with, uh, they are real estate investors. The company is called Deal Driven. And by the way, the reason I'm sharing this with you is like, I talk to all my clients. I say, are you comfortable with me sharing this stuff with other people? Most of them are like, yeah, absolutely. Because you can't just up and steal the stuff. Right. Really <laughs> so they have a software called Deal Driven. It generates both uh, cash buyers and lists of hot seller leads. So real estate investors would sign up because they want to sell more houses. Okay. Yeah. So this is a, indoctrination sequence. It's called the sneaky way to get cash buyers. So they've already opted in for a free list of hot seller leads. And I use active campaign. So when you see first name, that's active campaign tags. Hey, first name. When many people start at real estate, they scramble to find deals. So that's a bit of a problem there. We can already see I'm using a bit of PWAP. They'll drive for hours on end searching for that perfect property. And they eventually get it, but there is an issue. They have no cash buyers. There's no one on the other side of the deal willing to put down the cold, hard cash to purchase the property. And so the new investor, slightly frustrated and wanting to make this work, starts cold calling the number on every we buy houses sign in town, only to find that half of them are wholesalers. Does that sound familiar? We decided to put an end to the cycle once and for all. That's why Deal Driven now has a cash buyer scanner explaining the unique mechanism. We show it in action. It's the easiest tool in the world to use. Simply load the software, tell it where you want to find cash buyers and watch as 20, 30, 50, and even more cash buyers show up before you. Again, proof. I show it right here. You'll get to see powerful insights as, I'm sorry, you'll get to see powerful insights such as how many deals they move, the average prices they'll pay, and where they live so you can send them a nice little letter or postcard asking them how you can work together. And with a five minute search, I found one contact in Lancaster PA that bought 15 properties in the last few years. Judging by her frequency, she's looking to snatch up more. It's a prime opportunity for a hungry investor like yourself to partner together and make a fortune in the process. And you can find people like her in every city in America. Lancaster has 60,000 people. It's a small town. And yet I was able to find 25 good cash buyers to build a relationship with. It works no matter where in the U.S. you live. You now have a list of 100 great deals in your city, but now you need a cash buyer to sell them to. Deal Driven is the easy, fast, and simple way to get direct access to the top cash buyers near you. Click here to sign up for Deal Driven today and kick your real estate investing business into high gear. Talk soon, Ben. So that's, that's using a combination of the hero framework and mixing in some of the A's for my 4A framework, specifically both the actionable and the aspirational. Mm. You know, one of the things that you do here really well is you kind of paint the picture of how this could work even more. Because when you talk about how uh, this town or city or whatever only has 60,000 people in it and we were able to get 25 
uh, I don't know if it was leads or buyers or whatever it was, but it, you really just kind of paint the picture because then somebody who's like in Miami and they're like, wow, there, we have like 3 million people in our town, you know, like imagine how much, uh, how, how much better the results will be for me. Um, so I really like how you paint the picture. Is that something you do in a lot of your, your copy just across the board? Yeah. Yeah. What I'd like to do, right. man, is uh, is kind of see if I could get you to write an email for me, guys. If you yeah, have, let's email, do it. Yeah, if you have an email, drop it right now. Or if you have something uh, you want Andrew to write an email about, drop it right now. If not, I'm just gonna go ahead and and ask him to write something for our copywriting mentorship because that's uh, always something I can use. Yeah, and if you see me looking here, that's because my actual screen's right here. The camera's right there, so uh, I am seeing you. He's like a real YouTuber, guys. He's a real YouTuber. Let's see. Question here. Yeah. So do you need me to, uh, yeah, I think the only person who asked the question just now was Kevin. I think you yeah, answered Kevin. that one. Cool. So what do you need for me to write an email? Hmm. Let's do this. Let's get a notepad up. Oh, uh, shoot. Me. Putting them on the spot. I feel like we're an eight mile right now. You're about to freestyle. Tell me what we're promoting here. Give me an overview. All right. So it's our copywriting mentorship. Well, I guess should I tell you, yeah, it's our copywriting mentorship. Um, we, uh, the way people come through to this is they opt in to learn how to get two or three new clients over the next 30 days. And then they watch a short video and then they book a call to learn more and eventually see if we, if they can enroll in the mentorship. Do you need to know price points or any of that stuff? Nope. Okay. okay. So what I typically do in my process, I'm just going to free flow from what I've got here. Not everything might be a hundred percent accurate. Sure. But we can revise and workshop together here. Yeah. So I start with the headline. I do a sender. So senders can be Carlos. Los, you want to be somebody else. Um, okay. Headline, the crazy easy way to get two paying clients in the next 14 days. I could probably be revised, cleaned up a little bit. It's a good starting point. I get everything down, then I'll revise later. So yeah, later. I'm already excited. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, I'm smiling already. I'm already excited. I already like the headline. Wow, man, you're hitting it right there at the core. I love this. I'll shut up so you have some, some time to think and keep writing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It's really hard for me to both talk and write at the same time. I can't talk and write either, so that's why I've been quiet. But I just want to let you know I'm loving this so far. The Upwork one is very good. <laughs> to get clients that pay
with an e predictable easy to use sales system then I my entire into a 25 and turn them into Partners, maybe? That's what I was about to type. Partnership. Yeah, buddy. Dude, I'm going to blast this shit out after the call now. I'm super excited. I didn't think it was even going to be this good. This is serious. <laughs> I love it. Um, sorry. Brain freeze. Happens Don't once. Don't apologize. Time. You just wrote an entire email in like three minutes. <laughs> All right, so that's a good start. I mean, there's a lot that I clean up, but I, I wrote this in like three, five minutes. <laughs> this, is like, this is such a good email. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to basically, I'd love it if you could send this to me so I don't have to just pause the screen and retype it all. But um, it, could you go into, like, did you have a framework? You were able to write this so quickly. I mean, this um, stuff takes people like 30 minutes or longer usually. You just, just, to be, just to be frank with you, what, what was going through my mind when I wrote this was a couple of things. Number one, what are they struggling with right now in this very second? That's a massive pain in their side that they're like, man, if I could just solve this problem, everything's going to change for me. And I thought about, well, what do they really want? What's their desired situation? And then my entire goal throughout the course of this copy is to create a gap between that, where they feel the pain they're sitting in that, that place. They're like, this really freaking sucks. And there's a way out. Uh, and then I'm thinking, okay, we want to both call it the problem and point to the aspirational desired future they really want and then say, okay, look, here is the actual truth. It's not what you believe. Uh, it's maybe counterintuitive, but hear me out. In fact, that's actually a good thing. Here's the truth. Hear me out. Uh, and then we have like the big contradictory belief that we need them to believe in order to buy our thing. This is something that you probably intimately know that Clayton Makepeace uh, preached a lot. Clayton Makepeace once said that one of the biggest problems newbie copywriters make is not figuring out what they believe right now and not figuring out what they need to believe in order to buy your product and then not showing them, telling them or having experience what they need to in order to believe that thing. Because if you can get them to believe that one big idea, that one big central belief, the rest of the dominoes fall and it becomes easy to turn them into a paying customer. Wow. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get them to believe our one big idea, our one big central thing. Uh, and the problem with writing an email so fast with doing so little research, like I did absolutely nothing on this outside of what I already knew a little bit about this, is I want to find one big story that I can leverage. I just don't have that in a second. So right. I would probably, if I found that, go back, rework it, make another email based off that story. But this is just to show you my process. Dude, this is so sick. This is so sick. Anybody that's watching this right now, you guys, and if you are in any way in need of email copy or email uh, marketing management or anything, make sure you connect with Andrew. I'll go ahead and drop a link in a little bit in the comments section. You can book a call with him. But at the very least, make sure you add him as a friend. Um, and just connect with them and say, hi, tell them you saw this video. This, dude, do you also, I know you write copy, but do you also manage email lists for people as well and, and do all yeah, that? Yeah, that's, that's a longer conversation, but that's what I do. I work with my clients on a monthly basis, manage the system for them. I, I filter out people who are active and engaged. I even put people in a separate categories based on the actions that they've taken on the website or uh, inside email campaigns themselves. And I'm able to segment people and speak to them more specifically. And that's really where you're going to see explosive results. And that's what got me my results in my old business with my partner uh, in the SEO business is I was able to figure out who's active, who's engaged, where are they in the sales process and what do I need them to believe in order to take the next step? 
But yes, that is an ongoing service that I offer. It's a little bit different for everyone because everyone's products are different and I customize the service just a little bit specifically to them. But if you would like to speak with me about having this done for you, I can point you to the booking page. It is andrewpergram.com slash meet. I also dropped it in the comments. So you guys can just click on that probably after this video. What I'll also do is uh, put it in the title is, of this video too, so people can see it. I didn't want to do that beforehand because usually, yeah, totally. you know, you throw a link in there, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't get as much exposure. Okay, book a call. And if you're thinking, wow, Andrew pulled this out of his mouth or out of his fingers more technically in three minutes, imagine what I can do when I'm working with you for a full month. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Andrew, thank you so much for coming on here and just kind of dropping this knowledge here. This is super valuable for myself, especially. I just got a crazy email. Could you send this to me? I don't know if you're sending. Yes, you are. <laughs> there we go. So that's the next thing I'm going to do is be able to blast that out to my list. So anybody on my email list, you're about to get an email. Um, all right, Andrew, thank you so much. Guys, if you're interested in working with Andrew, I highly suggest you. You've seen the proof in the pudding right here. He's shown us his past emails. He's shown us his frameworks. And he's also shown a real live written email that he just put together on the fly for me. So I uh, highly suggest working with him. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you add him as a friend. Click on the little link, where, whether it's in the comments section or the title, book a call with him. And Andrew, man, thank you so much for coming on. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you, Carlos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.